understand the magic that you do. I shudder to think what this city would be like without Lookout and all of the people who have been involved in it. So I thank you sincerely for supporting this organization and coming out to celebrate all of the progress that's been made tonight. We've got two agendas this evening. The first is for you to have an incredible time together and to look at some of the wonderful art that's being produced in our community. The second is to raise a hell of a lot of money. So our goal this year is fairly precise. We want to raise $38,000, $38,000. Two, two things we want to do with that money. One, and this may be a comment on uh, Canadian society at the moment, but we want to raise money for medical supplies that will be used within the shelter and within the housing projects to be able to help people and support them with their medical needs. And the second is to raise money for dental care so that people can get the dental care that they need to be able to function in society and feel comfortable and safe. So the incredible people who held him and helped him and others like him along their journey. For those of you who don't know, Zacchaeus Jackson Nice was an incredible poet who, for a time in his life, lived on these streets just outside of this door. All thinking about community and home and love and reaching out for each other. And I believe that our next guests are really going to inspire you to think about what it is that brings us all here this evening. It is a real pleasure for me to welcome Richard to the stage. He's one of the people who lives in a lookout housing facility. Richard, come on up and you've got some partners with you tonight. You were staying at the lookout. There's one of the staff, Susie, there, who, who put Suits. up with you for 12 years. She put up with my BS for a lot of years. Um, <laughs> and she's still there. If, if you guys ever, if you've been to our North Shore shelter, you, you, you have met Susie. King Williams, everyone. Thanks, thanks. Another hand for Richard. He's such a brave, brave thing to come up here and talk to folks. Thank you, Richard, for sharing your story. Wow, what a journey this has been. I gotta tell you, my first year as the executive director of Lookout Emergency Aid Society, and I've met so many great people. Um, we have so many folks that put their heart and soul into what they do every day. 25 sites, 480 staff. Uh, we got an amazing team spreading uh, uh, seven different municipalities and uh, you know uh, five low barrier shelters, uh, 1100 units of housing, uh, opportunities and, 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 and ability to help somebody straight off the street sleeping in a park into affordable housing and starting some, some, some employment programs and as you can see from tonight's event working diligently on on uh, um, um, medical programming to help folks take that next step and uh, you know it's been really important for us to identify the strengths of, uh, of the legacy that I inherited last year 43 years of an organization under one uh, uh, leader uh, handed off and uh, through the through the handoff we've discovered that uh, we can do things a little bit different uh, keeping the same vision mission and mandate alive uh, to try to help folks and be a social net to help people off the streets. I feel like I'm in a room full of friends. I thank each and every one of you for being here. And that strategic plan really highlights, uh, augments uh, the, the current ser service delivery of the organization, trying to maximize opportunities for folks when they want change. And so we're going to be around people, offering them a myriad of services uh, from health to sober, uh, sober living, to employment and vocational opportunity, skill building, life skills, uh, on top of what we've done historically around shelters and supportive housing and permanent housing. And that's all to do with this incredible board of directors and they've got the patience and the tolerance and the, and the wherewithal to put up with me at my best and my very worst. So that's excellent. Through the merger with Keys Housing and Health Solutions, which we did last year, and grew us about 20% right off the right off the top. 
Um, we also inherited uh, a, a foundation and uh, it's the Lookout uh, uh, Foundation that's actually hosting this event today. Uh, there's seven uh, board members uh, involved in that foundation, a completely separate organization. Uh, and, and really it looks at um, funding the most precarious programs that Lookout offers. As you know, we are cutting edge organi cutting edge organization, pushing the envelope of, of what nonprofits do for the most marginalized people in, in, in their communities. And uh, uh, sometimes uh, funding can be a challenge as, as it is for any nonprofit. And uh, so without the foundation, we wouldn't be able to pilot and move a lot of these new initiatives forward. And part of uh, the recent change with the organization has been uh, to try to get somebody to uh, kind of center me personally, uh, but also uh, um, add a, another perspective at the senior leadership level. And I'm really proud and happy to introduce Jody Sturge as the director or deputy executive director of the organization as recent as a few weeks ago. And Jody, you want to come up and stand by me? Jody and I have worked together in the nonprofit world for years and years and years, and we were talking just last week that you know never never imagined that we'd be here, and uh, to be here today to uh, run one of the most innovative, most progressive, uh, uh, minimal barrier uh, organizations in the province, in the country, uh, cutting edge uh, uh, research and uh, benchmarks being set by this organization that I think uh, uh, can be uh, adapted by other organizations in terms of how to engage with people and uh, how to give people the most opportunities to succeed. You know, we're very blessed to have uh, a great team of managers. There's 21 managers in the room. Everybody, all the managers that are, that, are, that are here, please wave your hands. Those people that are waving their hands right now, I want everybody around them to, to talk to those folks later and they'll tell you all about the mission and the date. I, I had so much more I wanted to say and I can keep talking. I am definitely a talker, but uh, I got the hook before I even started. So uh, we're going to move it forward and I think Jody's going to help me hand out a couple of awards to some real homeless heroes that uh, we want to recognize here in the room today. So. The first organization I'd like to present an award to you is Floors Cares, and the recipient is Anthony Chung, Deputy Project Manager. They also built us gardens, and uh, this year uh, Floors has given us um, a cow and a tractor for our community farm, and also donated uh, 1,500 uh, 1500 gifts for our tenants and our clients that live in our buildings. The next award uh, is for We Love Van, and I'd like to invite George and Georgetta Calabro, Calabro to the stage, please. Well, on a regular basis, they drop off water to our sites on the hot days and allow us to be a part of their tours. Thank you very much. The last award or we like to mention or give is to the Dunderade Festival, and uh, in particular, we'd like to uh, welcome Mary and Michael Markwick to the stage, please. Through the festival, they organized year-round. They fund a transitional housing program in the North Shore. These programs are vital to equip people in our transitional housing with skills, confidence, and well-being so that they can transition out of our programs. Thank you Thank very you, much. Have fun. It's not enough to bring them back. It's not enough to hide your tracks. It's not enough to change a map when little babies live in shacks. 